welcome back to our top 10 series where we give you super cool, awesome top 10 lists. I'm Court McGinley. All right, you guys asked for it, so here it is. We cannot deny you what you want. This is our list of the top 10 worst tattoos part two. I thought the first time around was traumatizing enough. Apparently not. You guys like seeing some strange things. Now for the first list, I had so many horrible tattoos to choose from. How could so many poor life choices fill one monitor screen? I could not tell you. But this time I delved a little deeper, so get ready because it's about to get weird and scary and hilarious all at the same time. So many emotions. But before I start listing off people that are filled with regret, I want to know, if you could get any tattoo, what would it be and why? Let me know your answers down in the comments. All right, coming in our 10 spot, there's Waldo. This one is just too funny. There is no way I couldn't put it on this list. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's a horrible tattoo, just the placement alone is not good. But it's hilarious and I can't lie, the tattoo artist who did this actually did a really good job. Definitely looks like Waldo. You know, I'm not hating this one. This is the most interesting place I've ever seen Waldo hide. I mean, in books he's behind a tree in the forest or a huge umbrella at the beach, but hiding behind a nipple, now that's a new one, very original. No one is going to look for him there. Of course, when this guy's chest hair grows back, Waldo's gonna be very well hidden, and we might not be able to find him again. So when you think about it, this could have been a very strategic move. And at number nine, strike. Well, it seems our pal Drew over here missed one too many bowling practices. Yeah, now I bet Drew will never ever forget that he has bowling on Thursdays. So no one waste your time asking Drew to do anything on Thursdays because he already has plans. That just really sucks though that this tattoo is on him for life. I guess bowling leagues are strict about missing practices. You don't show up, this is your punishment. And at number eight, American Idiot. Yeah, well apparently this person really loves Green Day. If I was to guess, I would say this person's favorite song must be American Idiot. All of you Americans out there, don't get mad. I would have said Canadian Idiot, but that's not the title of a Green Day song. Now I get it, you had a great time at the concert. You loved the band and you were dancing all night. Memories to last a lifetime. So why would you need this as a reminder? I'm so confused. Now I've been to great concerts too, for example Shania Twain, and of course I've kept the tickets because it was an awesome show. But I don't see the need to take it this far. At number seven, scaring the children. Now I'm going to take a long shot here and guess that this is supposed to be Mickey Mouse in Fantasia. Um, apparently Mickey got into some sort of fight because his fingers are all mangled up. Like get your fingers into a brace, there's no way that's normal. I mean, look at that, just look at it. No. That's just wrong. And who knows what's going on with his eye. I mean, imagine if this is what Mickey Mouse looked like in Fantasia. Scar the kids for life. In at number six, Too Faced. Okay, this one actually kinda creeped me out. Clearly a true professional tattooed this one because from a distance, I would 100% think that that's a face. I mean, there's eyebrow hair and everything. Then there's shading and wrinkles and then a full on mustache. That's pretty impressive. It's creepy, but it's impressive. I just wish he didn't look so sad. Well, actually maybe if they somehow made that face smile, it would be creepier. It's just so weird how much it looks like a real face. In at number five, monkey see monkey do. Well, this is one that mom will be proud of. What would possibly possess someone to do this? Now you just have two mischievous primates on your belly. If you love monkeys, that's cool, but why do this? And this person couldn't just have one monkey, oh no, there had to be two. Couldn't just have a monkey with their butthole exposed, no. Had to throw in a creepy curious monkey to poke at it, because why not? I'm surprised this person didn't actually add a third monkey. I know sometimes guys like to go and pick lint out of their belly buttons, so what's it gonna look like when this guy goes to, you know, no, no, that's just too gross. I need to remind myself this is a kid friendly channel, so none of that. Next at number four, Santa's little helper. All right, now if I've learned one thing from the previous list that's never ever get someone's face tattooed on your body because 98% of the time it's gonna turn out horribly. This little baby is so adorable but that tattoo looks nothing like him. It looks like a creepy little demon. Like honestly its face looks like one of those little troll dolls I had as a kid. You know the ones with the jeweled belly button? Yeah they're cute but creepy. Poor little kid he was just trying to look all cute and festive for his photo. He didn't know one day some tattoo artist would come along and turn this beautiful picture into that. And at number three, TMNT. Here's in a half shell, turtle power. 
Good luck getting a job, bro, or getting anyone to take you seriously ever again. Don't get me wrong, I love the Ninja Turtles, and it just so happens that Michelangelo is my favorite. But this was just a bad idea on so many levels. I mean, it's hilarious, but it's awful. I'm assuming someone wouldn't get the statue if they were sober. So I'm thinking this was a result from a boys out drunken dare or something like that. At least I hope so, because if this guy did willingly get this while he was sober, then there are bigger things to worry about. Coming in at our number two spot, cat fight. I mean, this cat looks like it's one of the alley cats from The Secret Life of Pets. Was this tattoo designed on the set or what? Yikes. I mean, a cute kitten tattoo, yes. This one, not so much. Where did this person even get this image? Imagine, this is Fluffy the family cat, and the owner goes to take a picture, so the tattoo artist has a reference. And this is how the picture comes out. I'm sorry, but Fluffy has got to go. I mean, the fangs on this thing are just insane. I mean, you have one squished eye, and the other eye is like leering out, trying to pick out who to attack next. No thanks. All right, in our number one spot, we have creepy crawlies. Clearly, this guy doesn't have arachnophobia. Does does he realize that 4% of the population does have arachnophobia? That might not seem like a lot, but it is. I've never seen someone with a face tattoo quite like this one. The shading is even done just right. It's frighteningly accurate. I mean, I think from a distance, if I saw this guy, I would think that he just had a huge spider on his face. I don't get it though. It literally spans all across his face. And could you imagine how much this one would have hurt? I mean, there's no fat on your face. The cheeks, yes, but not your forehead or nose. Ouch. All right, and there you guys have it. That's our top 10 list of the worst tattoos part two. If you guys want to see a part three, be sure to let me know down in the comments. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Court McGinley. If there's other top 10 lists you'd like to see me do, be sure to let me know and I'll catch you guys in the next one.